What is up everybody, Huang Zero here, and today I'm going to be going over Mirage Galgamon versus Yggdrasil Gorilla Knight's gameplay. On the Mirage Galgamon side, it is piloted by me, and on the Yiggy side, it's going to be piloted by Donkey Nog. And so, going into this game, he goes in Magnamon turn 1 for 2 memory, so it's very, very cheap, and then I unfortunately don't actually have a rookie on my side of the board. So I'm forced to go ahead and use that uh, memory boost, and let me go ahead and... Uh, enlarge that. And so he's going to use Dynasmon. Dynasmon it has a reduced cost of uh, 7 at the current moment, so it's only 3 costs, so even though I've choked him to 1. Uh, Dynasmon is insanely cheap. It's also one of the best ways to filter throughout the, the deck. At the moment, looking at my hand, I noticed that I ha I do have an evolution line, um, and right now I'm weighing between playing the Tamer and going into my level 5. If I go into my level 5, um, I potentially get into a position where I can look for an OTK style of play. Uh, by setting up the Tamer earlier, I can almost guarantee the consistency in my deck. They're going to go ahead, they're going to use the Purge to stack the Cranium on, um, and that's really scary because Cranium on is one of the few cards that I actually cannot interact with in my deck. Uh, so you can Purge Cranium on, for example, but they're going to go ahead, they're going to use Gonkumon. Gankumon spit out Magnamon. Um, because I really don't have a way to interact with his board uh, for the most part, because that would cost quite a bit of memory going into 5 plus 6, uh, that does mean that the Magnamon plus the Gankumon are likely going to go back into the Yggdrasil stack, and the Magnamon will go ahead and draw an additional card. Uh, using Magnamon repeatedly like this to gain additional uh, cycling is a really, really smart way to go about it. So. At this current stage in the game, I'm looking uh, to see what kind of angle I can take against my opponent to really try to uh, maximize the amount of efficiency I can look for an OTK style of angle. Right now I'm contemplating between which of my level 5s to go into, uh, between the Mach Galgamon that is when digivolving and the Mach Galgamon is when attacking. However, if I go into either of them, I do... Um, if I, I will lift the when digivolving effect. So because of that, I do opt for the uh, other Mach Galgamon. Even though this Mach Galgamon, uh, unfortunately, uh, is only the when attacking, and without Nikolai, when attacking is really risky because of the jamming. Uh, now you may be like, okay, both their ESSs are the same, and one of them is when digivolving, one of them is when attacking. Obviously, you want to go for the when digivolving uh, and save that for later, right? So you want to evolve into the when attacking so you don't waste the effect. And my thought process there um, was that the when attacking could be really useful later into the game, but I opted um, to save the when digivolving for later on. My opponent goes for Alpha One, which is going to prevent me from doing any damage uh, to his security with my Mirage Galgamon, because uh, it basically stuns out. And then I'm going to use the Galmon to filter. Uh, Galmon, draw one, and then Evo Galgamon. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Sorai. The reason I go for the Sorai here is because looking at his support state, I'm really afraid of a potential Omnimon play. Um, I just want to deny the Omnimon damage as much as I possibly can. And I really didn't have another uh, fantastic play I really wanted to end my turn on. And so, uh, using the Sorai, this means that if he were to go into the Omnimon, because he does have enough memory to make that play, um, it would be he wouldn't be able to actually attack out, and then maybe I can stabilize from that point, because I do have the Mirage Galgamon, uh, plus the Burst Mode. So, instead he's going to go ahead, he's going to use Gankumon, and Gankumon's ability uh, will allow him to bring back the Alphamon, which will once again uh, stun out my uh, attacks to his security. So, I'm really feeling the heat from this Alphamon, it's really dangerous, and looking at this board state, Yggdrasil is in a very powerful position. Uh, just be Not only are the three Yggdrasils and four sources stacked underneath, but on his turn, if I don't get rid of any of these, um, he will go into six knights underneath his stack. All unique names, uh, no, actually, no, no. Five unique names, because two of them are gone, come on, do you mind that? And then, um, looking at this current situation, uh, how I see this is the Mirage Galgamon, um, I will be able to get a little bit of value back, burn his security if I wanted to, um, but I really want to hold the value of my level 5 in the raising area, uh, just because... I, having that guaranteed means I can look for an OTK play once he runs out of uh, Alpha Mons and uh, Crania Mons to mess with. But we evolve into the Blocker Mock Algamon because I'm really just trying to cycle for more pieces at this point. The moment I draw Nikolai, uh, suddenly I have a window of opportunity to outright OTK my opponent, and so I'm going to go for the Mirage Galgamon. Um, Mirage Galgamon, I'm going to go ahead and evolve for 4, and then uh, because of all of the effects, um, my opponent's had 8 cards in hand, gain uh, 2 memory, and then Galmon and Galgamon, I want to go ahead and gain back 2, so it's actually a 0 cost evolution overall. And then I'm going to hard slam Vimon, try and find the Nikolai, because I really need that card to force that damage, but... Unfortunately, don't hit the Nikolai, and I also bot deck uh, my second copy of Sorai, and like I've mentioned before, Sorai is so impactful, but he's going to go ahead, uh, he's going to use the, he, 
uh, Gankumon, uh, play it off the Purge, and then he's going to Omnimon for the rest of his board. Um, however, do note that because of Dynasmon being a mandatory effect, um, which we will see right now, so Dynasmon uh, added the card, Mirage Galgamon's actually going to outright steal the entire turn. So the reason why he purged the Gonkumon before going for the Omnimon is because he wanted to get out as many bodies as possible since Omnimon only plays out unique names, uh, so you can't play double Ganku off the effect. But because of that, um, he ends up playing into the Mirage Galgamon, which does give me a slight window actually, uh, because if I'm able to st uh, stave off some of his damage, I'm in a really, really fantastic position. So looking at this board today at the current moment, I'm really analyzing what I can do. I'm trying to think, how do I get rid of as many bodies as possible to prevent damage? We're going to go ahead and we're going to bring out our stack. No Nikolai, so I can't, unfortunately can't swing out here. But thanks to Mirage Galgamon, I can bounce the Magnemon. He does get the draw. Um, and the Magnemon draw does occur prior to the Mirage because it is a win this card would leave. Um, I do keep that in mind, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to gain quite a bit of memory back uh, between all of my ESSs. So not only do I have the Galmon, Galgamon ESS, um, I have another Galgamon, uh, Galmon ES, Galgamon ESS, and then I have double Mirage on board. He has, uh, what is that, uh, four, eight, he currently has 12 cards in hand, I believe? Let me see if I'm... Kind of, yeah, he has four cards in hand, so he's exactly 12 cards in hand. Um, so each of the Mirage Galgamons are going to be giving me back uh, three memory. And so after bouncing back the Magnemon, I'm going to go ahead Full Moon Blaster uh, back the Dynasmon, because if he hard plays a Dynasmon later, that will trigger double Mirage Galgamon. Uh, and using the Full Moon Blaster uh, lets me remove... Um, and at this point, I'm really just removing bodies off of his board, so he can't uh, do enough damage. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Mock Galgamon, and so we've set up double Mirage plus Blocker onto our side of the board. And so our opponent, uh, he could have used the Craniumon, but we totally forgot, uh, just because we were like both in like shock at this board state we were like holy crap like this is like such a crazy comeback so forgot about the craniumon effect unfortunately um but in the grand scheme of things i don't think the craniumon effect matters too too much just because um he has uh no way to actually force additional damage out because he's no longer any yager seal so um it's you can't reduce the cost for omnimon or anything like that uh, no rush is going to be given um so even if with the craniumon force i don't think a lot would have happened goes ahead, he swings the Omnimon, he swings the Cranium on here. Um, I realize that at this point that I need a block out because he hard slimes like Omni or something and then he pops my blocker, I'm just going to lose that on value. Um, so I go ahead and I just block out that damage. He goes ahead, he slams another Alpha Mon raw um, that is going to prevent me from actually pushing for game once again, which is really, really annoying actually. Um, and so he does have the Cranium on still, uh, going to go ahead Evo Galmon. Uh, I can start removing quite a bit of his board at this point, right? Because he has uh, Arrested Omnimon, he has uh, Alphamon, but if I were to attempt to you know, de delete his Alphamon via battle, it will just uh, get rid of the X antibody source underneath. And so, um, looking at this situation, I do have the hybrid in hand. I also have quite a bit of Tamers. Nine memory, I have so much to work with, um, specifically because I have all of these Mirage Galgamon. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, using the Galmon, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Galgamon. I didn't have, the only four I had prior to this was the Ranamon. So with this, I do get to preserve that, so that's hybrid uh, for later on. I'm uh, going to go ahead and go Galgamon, Mock Galgamon, and we have Mirage Galgamon, and then this, again, we get back all of that juicy, juicy memory. And at this point, if you've noticed, the Mirage Galgamons alone have started to burn so much damage from my opponent. Using uh, all three Mirage Galgamons to gain memory, all the Galmons, all the Galgamons, we gained all the way back to eight memory, which is absolutely absurd. Um, and mind you, I still can't swing out of security, because all of my uh, Mirage Galgamons are susceptible to his Alphamon. So I need to reduce the amount of Digimon he actually has on his board state, otherwise I'm going to just outright lose the game. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use the Mirage Galgamon. Mirage Galgamon is um, going to bounce the Craniumon back because he doesn't have the immunity anymore, because it's only until the end of your opponent's uh, turn. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to play out the Thomas. And so at this point, we, we realized that the... The math and everything, how it ends up panning out, is I'm just going to opt to hard evolve into the Mirage Galgamon instead. And then uh, hard evolve into the Mirage Galgamon. Uh, and the reason why is so I can keep it on my board. And then I go ahead and kill the Omnimon. Yeah, and so now he only has four damage on his board. I'm nowhere, uh, I'm not in danger anymore because once again, he just doesn't have enough. And so uh, right now, at this point, I really just need to establish as many bodies as possible, uh, knowing that he actually can't force damage. Uh, just in general, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna um, we're gonna swing uh, trigger the Thomas off that because I right now I'm si I'm trying to cycle for my Nikolai. I'm trying to cycle for my Sorai. Um, I'm gonna go ahead Galmon slam and I do 
you know, fortunately, finally find the Nikolai. It took long enough. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, Galgamon, and now we have double hybrid, and then we're gonna go. Uh, I believe I actually Evo into... I, I believe... Uh, oh, yeah, I play the Thomas, uh, and because of the Vmon, this allows me to play the Thomas for only two memory, and then I can evolve into the Blocker Mock Galgamon. Uh, so now I have Burst Mode, I have the double uh, Mirage Galgamon Floodgates, and then if you're asking why Burst Mode is untapped, it's because I used the BT4 Thomas to just untap. And then, yeah, looking at this current uh, situation, my opponent really doesn't have a lot that he can currently do, because with only four damage... Um, He's out of Alpha Mods, I believe, at this point as well. So no longer can he actually stop my Onslaught of attacks. I have a blocker to push uh, to stop another uh, point of damage, and I have something in Raising as well. I have double hybrid. Like I am representing so many attacks, it's actually ridiculous right now. So this is really just demonstrating uh, how powerful that Sora is. So he's going to go ahead, he's going to drop the Gallimon that's going to kill my Burst Mode, um, because it has 13k or more, and then uh, that is going to be game because I have the double uh, random on in my uh, hand, so I can just Evo Tamer if I really want. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully this gameplay was entertaining. I thought it was pretty entertaining. Uh, just seeing, like, even though uh, the Mirage Galgamon, we were on the bit of a backpedal, just how powerful that Sorai really can be, how powerful that BT-11 Mirage Galgamon is, and just, yeah, huge comeback. So peace.